If there's one thing Outlander fans know, it's that this show is never short on twists, emotional depth, and intense historical drama. As the second half of season seven approaches, premiering on November 22nd on Stars, we are about to witness a shift in the Fraser story that could change everything. After all, when we last left Claire, Jamie, and Ian, they were on a journey back to Scotland, a land rich with memories, battles, and unresolved tension. As we prepare for this long-awaited return to Lallybrock, it's clear that things are far from settled. While Scotland has always been Jamie's and Outlander's true heart, this homecoming will be bittersweet, to say the least. Jamie Fraser's return to Lallybrock should feel like a homecoming, but as Sam himself teases, it is bittersweet. Jamie's ancestral home holds not only memories, but unresolved issues, both personal and familial. We know Jamie will reunite with his beloved sister Jenny and other familiar faces, including Elder Ian, but the reunion won't be without conflict. Especially between Jamie and his sister Jenny, there's some big stuff that they need to go through together, Sam hints. Their relationship has always been fiery, Jenny, as protective of Lallybrook and her family as Jamie is of Claire, will undoubtedly have strong words for her brother. Their sibling dynamic has long been one of the most compelling in the series, full of love but also disagreements, and this reunion promises to be no different. But there's more than just sibling tension in the air. For one, young Ian is returning to his Scottish roots, though he's no longer the boy who left Lallybrock. Ian comes back not just as Jamie's nephew, but as a man transformed by his time with the Mohawk in America, carrying a unique set of skills, experiences, and heartaches. As Sam quips, young Ian is, well, not young anymore. He's become quite the man, quite the warrior. This version of Ian will likely clash with the expectations of his Scottish family, particularly Jenny, who may struggle to understand the man Ian has become. Both Jamie and Claire will have to account for their role in Ian's departure and transformation. Claire's relationship with Jenny has always been complicated, marked by respect, but also moments of frustration and misunderstanding. This season, that dynamic will come to the forefront, with Claire facing Jenny's demands for something miraculous, something beyond Claire's capabilities. Both her and Claire have a tendency, especially when they're in pain, to lash out, Katrina shares. This will be a key emotional point as Jenny's pain and Claire's limitations come to a head, leading to tension that has likely been building for years. The reunion at Lallybrock might be brief for Claire, though. There is some heartbreak, Katrina reveals about her character's time in Scotland. Despite her hope of finally settling into a peaceful life with Jamie, Claire quickly finds herself called back to the colonies, torn away from Jamie for the first time in several seasons. Anyone who knows the Frasers knows that separation never bodes well. When the Frasers are not together, things don't always go very well, she states ominously. The event that prompts Claire's departure is shrouded in mystery, but we do know it's serious enough to warrant a hasty exit from Scotland. Katrina hints that Claire will be asked to perform a task as only she can, putting her surgical skills to the test once again. And where is she heading? Philadelphia, a city full of political intrigue, danger, and, of course, the looming American Revolution. There may be a little bit of political intrigue, and on top of everything else, she may or may not do some spying, she teases, adding another layer to Claire's already complex involvement in historical events. As Claire departs for Philadelphia, Jamie is left to grapple not only with family tensions in Scotland, but also his own involvement in the rapidly escalating American Revolution. Sam warns, It's not an easy time for the Fraser family, that's for sure, and his words couldn't be more accurate. Jamie, the ever-reluctant hero, will once again find himself pulled into history's tide, unable to escape the major events that continue to shape their lives. Even with Claire far away, Jamie's connection to her and to the past they share remains palpable. Yet being apart takes its toll and Jamie, as always, carries the weight of both his personal sacrifices and the broader stakes of war on his shoulders. As if the Frasers weren't dealing with enough turmoil, the absence of Brianna, Roger, and their children casts a long shadow over both Claire and Jamie. Brianna's return to the future for Mandy's life-saving surgery marked a moment of heartache, one that Claire describes as akin to a death. The uncertainty of their fate, the impossibility of communication, and the knowledge that they might never see their daughter again is a grief that will linger over the second half of the season. Yet through all the separations, sacrifices, and upheaval, the Frasers continue to persevere. Whether it's Jamie navigating the dangers of war or Claire confronting new challenges in Philadelphia, Outlander Season 7, Part 2 promises an emotional roller coaster full of heart wrenching moments, long awaited reunions, and shocking revelations. Sam teases that fans of the books will especially find much to look forward to. 
But as always, even for those unfamiliar with the novels, this season will deliver unexpected twists that keep everyone on the edge of their seat. As we head into the back half of the penultimate season, one thing is certain. The Frasers are far from finding peace. Their story, as epic and heartbreaking as ever, continues to unfold with all the passion, danger, and love that has made Outlander the phenomenon it is today. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and watch this video next. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you soon.